Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your boy, we and we back with another video. It's been a minute since I posted, and I know y'all missed me. It's been like seven days, it's been a week. I'm back. I know I look a little younger. Um, <laughs> but let's get straight into the video, bro. Um, brush your heads, bro. Why am I saying brush your heads? It's been a grip. I haven't said this in a grip, but yeah. I know I said I was going to do some, you know, monkey videos, but it's taking way too long to post these videos, to push them out. So we gonna stick to our little Roblox until I'm really ready. Cause I ain't gonna like monkey videos. You know, finding somebody that looks decent on that. That's why I pushed out those, you know, other girls. Finding somebody that's decent on that app is it's hard, bro. You're gonna be scrolling for days. It gets boring. But yeah, bro, let's get straight into it. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, bro. And let go. So with this update, bro, they added a new map. This is like a Halloween theme, I guess you'd say, right? Hold on, how do I stop recording? All right, there we go. All right, yeah, this is a Halloween theme. So we got Madara's ability, has nothing to do with Halloween. Pain ability has nothing to do with Halloween, but new Halloween map, new Halloween quest and event. And then they added prestige, increased the prestige level. They also um, increased the level cap. They changed the UIs um, for like right here. To me, this looks different. And certain abilities have like a different UI as well. I think they're gonna end up adding it all. They also have two new codes, which I don't know where they are. Um, well, they're in the game. They just don't work right now. So when they work, I'll post them. I'll make a short and post them for y'all. Um, they added a Halloween teleport UI. 30% of UI has been changed more to come. Oh, yeah. So basically what I was saying, like certain abilities and stuff have it, but they'll end up changing the rest later on. It just was trying to push out the update. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all exactly the moves, the new abilities and stuff. That y'all can get these are mythicals and everybody already know how to get mythicals if y'all want me to do a more in-depth video on this game i'm talking about like a whole starter like an actual breakdown of like with game prestiging leveling and all that stuff i can go ahead and do that it's probably gonna take me approximately a day to do that for y'all so you know let me know in the comments down below and if i also want to see me live stream i could also do that i have a lot of money we can do tournaments where we get you know eyes and we you know get y'all right we'll do um live tournaments where y'all fight each other and y'all get a chance to win some eyes so y'all can you know hopefully get Madara's eyes but first ability that we're gonna be showcasing is pain <clears throat> i have blaster legendary on it wait what the hell did i just do oh we got blaster legendary on it i honestly think sun jing is still better but you know it's just my opinion so we got the first move which is like a push move and then we got the universal pull which is like this. I guess whatever's in your area, it will just try to pull it. Let me see if I can do two dummies at once. I'm just try to stand in the middle. Yeah, just whatever is in the whatever's in this path. And then we got the C move. It's like this rock move where you just you know, you're rocking and you explode. And then the X move. Yeah, I don't know what it does. I, I, I mean, it damaged the dummy, but it looked like it's an aerial attack. And then we have King of the Hill, which is the Y move. Now, I don't know what King of the Hill does. If it, like, stuns you, if it, like, puts gravity on your character, I'm going to go ahead and use it on some NPCs. Since it doesn't, like, visually show much. Oh, damn, this guy's about to die anyway. Yeah, so, yeah, it does kill them. And it has a decent radius as well. And this too. I guess I, I, hitting those moves are probably going to be hard. That's why I said, like, you know, Sun Jing Wu's abilities is better all, only because, bro, you know, you know what you're aiming at. You know, you know what you're hitting. Um, Now we're going to do Madara's. Madara's. Madara has six moves. So, Madara has six. Yep. And y'all see the new UI difference, right? It took me a minute to get the mastery on these to do this um, video. So, Make sure y'all like up. So we got the first move. Is where you just shoot a fly. Uh, like you do this for a while too, where you're just stuck in place. So make sure you hit your target because you will be a, a non-moving target for a while. And then you got this tornado move, which is the R move. You just shoot out a tornado, and then you have this ability where you just push forward with some gusto. I don't know why that didn't hit him. 
I mean, it looks like it has a short cooldown. It doesn't work, I guess. But it has a short cooldown. Um, and then we got the X move. Where you shoot down a meteor, which is pretty fire. I'm happy that they did that, too. And then you get the Susano, which is the Y move. You get the Susano hand, like the half hand of the Susano. And then you get this Dimension Slash. Which would have been fire if it was the Susano. But, you know, with the, uh, the new abilities are bugged. The new abilities are bugged a little bit. Just give them some time to fix it. And yeah, it should be good. But I feel like Shadow Monarch is something I will be sticking to. I still think it's the best, like... I still think it's, like, the best mythical, personally. And, you know, I might be biased because I have it. But I don't know. I just feel like Shadow Monarch is still on top. But yeah, bro. Brush your heads. Take care, bro. Catch y'all in the next video. Let me know what else y'all want to see on the game. Peace out.